Yo. <laughs> I can't believe I did it again. I mean, literally last week when I was recording the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku Extreme Z Battle video, I didn't realize that I wasn't recording until I finished level 1. And you would think that I would have learned from that experience and not repeat it literally the next week. But that is exactly what happened. So uh, as you can see, we're on level 2 right now. Level 1 is somewhere lost in the ether, I guess. And um, this is probably going to be the last video of the day because clearly my brain needs a break. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to, you know, kick some Android butt on our way out. So we're going to do that. But we're starting from level 2. And uh, there's a timer above my head because this is going to be a race, just like always. But obviously, if you want to race me, make sure you do level 1 first and then uh, jump in with me at level 2. Okay. Uh, anyways, guys, let's, <laughs> let's do this. And the weakness for this event is the crossover category, which is essentially just the Dragon Ball Heroes category plus a few extra units. And uh, as such, I decided to change the team up just a little bit uh, from the Dragon Ball Heroes Extreme Z Battle video, just so we're not running the exact same team. So there you go. That's the team. And uh, with all that said, let's get this race started in three, two, one, go. All right, we're in. Just making sure we are recording. Perfect. And uh, I still haven't seen exactly what the Super Saiyan 3 Gohan with an Extreme Z Awakening can do. So I'm actually really excited to uh, check out his damage. Obviously, we're not really going to be able to test his tanking on this event because I don't really think, uh, you know, the 16 and the 21 will really hit that hard. I could be wrong. We'll see. But uh, definitely excited to see what his damage output potential will look like. So that's level 2, not too bad. Level 1, I believe we did one-shot it. And uh, I think it's for the first 15 levels we face 16, and then for the next 15, it's 21, right? Maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so now we have Mass Saiyan, but let's let him attack first. And uh, one thing to note is that you don't want to be bringing any STR types. Apparently, STR types are uh, not very effective here they get like a massive damage reduction against, well, you know, 16 and 21 get a lot of damage reduction against STR types. So don't bring any STR types, but outside of that, I think any other type is just fine. Okay, so yeah, pretty smooth so far outside of the little uh, mess up in the beginning. I don't expect to really have too many issues outside of that. And they're still not giving me Gohan. Interesting. I just want to see how much damage he can do, you know? Like, ideally, we get the rotation where he's linked up with the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. And then we have the uh, Demon Goddess Toa as a support. And, I mean, just based on his passive, right? And his stats, actually, with the Extreme Z Awakening, he should be doing a stupid amount of damage. Especially against 16, who's a tech type. So I'm excited for that. They're just not giving us an opportunity to test that out for some reason. Come on. Give me Gohan. Give me... <sighs> Why? Why do they refuse to give me Int Gohan in the first rotation? It's super annoying. It's super annoying. By the way, hope you guys don't mind, but I will be eating an apple as uh, we make our way through <laughs> this video. I actually didn't get to eat a lot today. I'm pretty hungry. And I do have to go to the gym after this, so I need some carbs, some energy. So, uh, yeah, I hope you don't mind the crunching too much. Some people like it. right? Some people like the uh, ASMR, I guess. But that's not the intent. Okay, I just need to eat an apple. I just need to eat something, really, while I'm making this video. So I apologize if it bothers you a little bit. Okay. Man, that is one juicy apple. 
Holy crap. Okay, um, let's do... 2% 3 Broly. I actually don't really use him too much, because... As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of him. I'm not a huge fan of the Extreme Z Awakening, because I feel like... It could have been a lot better. I do like Super Saiyan 3 Broly as a form. It's just the... EZA itself pisses me off, to a point where... I don't really use him unless I have to. But, um... You know, we'll give him a chance here. And he's looking pretty good. He, he did some good damage there. Some very good damage, in fact. Yeah, this apple is like super juicy, man. I bit into it and it got like juices everywhere. <laughs> It'll be crazy, but... What if we just like get through the entire event without getting Gohan to attack him at once. Like, statistically, very unlikely, right? Very, very unlikely. But there is a chance, nonetheless. There's definitely a chance of what- look at that. We're on level 6 right now, and Super Saiyan 3 Broly just took, like, 40,000. Like, that's really bad. That's really bad. But of course, we've always known his defense is kind of garbage. Even with the Extreme Z Awakening, they really didn't help his defense much. It's better. It's better. But not that much better. Oh, my bad. Oh, that was level 7. My bad. Okay, so instead of level 6, it was level 7. So maybe... It's not as bad that he took that much damage, but still. He should be tanking better this early on, you know? Still no Gohan. 8 levels with no Gohan. Um, okay, so if I give these to Mess, say we can get four? No, three orbs still. Okay, for Broly, give these to Vegito. Random question. What is your favorite apple? Because mine is this. It's a red delicious. But I've been called basic for liking it because apparently it's like the most, I don't know, gen generic apple or something like that. Who cares, right? Just, just, you like what you like. But with that said, I still want to know. What is your favorite apple? Uh, Android 18, Taya, her favorite apple is uh, Honeycrisp, which like, I'll admit it's good. It's very crunchy. They're very crunchy apples, but they're also like super bougie apples, man. Like Honeycrisp apple is literally like three times the price of every other apple, well, I mean, there are a few other expensive ones, but, like, it's it's literally, like, three times the price of, like, this, or, like, a, you know, Macintosh apple, <laughs> or, um, Gala, Royal Gala apple, you know, like, she's, she's got fancy taste, man, she's got expensive taste, like, every single time we buy apples, my apples end up being, like, I don't know, five dollars, and hers, like, fourteen dollars, I'm like, what are these apples, man, like, <laughs> I get they're good, but are they three times better than a red delicious apple? Right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if it... I guess I guess she likes what she likes. Whatever. You know, like, she deserves it. I'll get the apples for her. But I'm just saying, like, I, I, don't, I don't think it's worth it to me. But it, it's all good. <laughs> that was a really random tangent. But no, I'm serious, though. Comment down below your favorite apple. Do you like red delicious? Do you like Granny Smith? Do you like... What are some other apples? There's a lot of apples, eh? Uh, yellow, gold, golden delicious. That's the yellow one. There is... Uh, Fuji. That's the, like, more... How do you describe a Fuji apple? Like, it's crunchy, but it's not the same as, like, a Honeycrisp. It's, uh... It's got, like, a unique flavor, actually. Are Fuji apples Asian? Are they Asian, or are they, like, from somewhere else? I don't know, actually. Anyways. <laughs> Tell me your favorite apples in the comments. Dude, this is actually insane. We are on level 10 now, and we haven't had Super Saiyan 3 Gohan on a single rotation. Not even, like, we haven't had a chance to, like, attack with him. Or, like, we just didn't, yeah, we didn't even get an opportunity to use him. Because he hasn't been on a single rotation yet. This is actually 
unbelievable. Like statistically, what are the chances that we go through 10 stages and we don't get Super Saiyan 3 Gohan once? It's gotta be pretty damn low. It's gotta be pretty damn low, but yet yeah, it's it's happening. Yet yeah, it's still happening right now. <laughs> Somebody do the math for me, man. Yo, if you're a math major or like a math professor, man, yo, do do the math. Like, what it what is the like percentage? What is the rate of us going through eleven stages now without a single Super Saiyan three Gohan appearance? Maybe the game knows that like I should save it for a showcase, <laughs> so they don't want to reveal what he can do here. But this is just getting ridiculous, man. Oh! Did I not? Was I not able to get a super for Toa? Because I thought I gave her a super. Maybe I messed up. I probably messed up. I think I was paying too much attention to Gohan. And also thinking too much about apples. I was thinking too much about the different types of apples. To uh, get her enough orbs to super, I guess. I don't know. So it definitely feels like we're going slower than the um, the other stage, which was uh, wait, what was the other stage? Yeah, uh, the Dragon Ball Heroes Extreme Z Battle. I literally did it like two hours ago, but yeah, um, it feels like we're going slower. But I think a big part of it is because I didn't bring Super Saiyan Four Broly. I think that's the main difference here. Because, you know, like, some of the other components we brought are better, right? Like, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, Mass Saiyan is hitting hard, like, these guys are doing really well. But Super Saiyan 4 Broly is just a different kind of monster. So I think the fact that I didn't bring him is uh, making these, these stages, these stage clears a lot slower. And also the fact that we just can't seem to get Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, who I would assume would have one-shot a couple of these stages, right? I think he would have one-shot a couple at least, at least the, the earlier stages, and uh, instead the game's just like, nah, no, no Gohan for you. Oh my god, he's finally here. <laughs> Holy balls. That's insane. It's insane how long that took us. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So defense, 117,000. Obviously he raises attack and defense on super. So that's not really an indication of like how hard or how, how good his defense is. And super over 3 million. Didn't quite one shot. But he did pretty good. He did pretty good. Okay. I'll take that. I mean 79% level 2 links basically. Like level 1 slash level 2 links. So he's definitely not like at his full potential. Um, and obviously not really linked up with his best partner either. No support. I'll take that. I'll take that. I still think he would have one shot a couple of stages. I think we would have saved a lot of time. And now we get two back to back, interesting, back to back stages with Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. So this is where all of our Super Saiyan 3 Gohan um, uses went, I guess. Yeah, about 3.2 mil looks like is going to be his average attack here without a uh, support unit. And I think I got six or seven orbs for Super Saiyan 3 Broly, so he's he's looking pretty good too. Okay. Alright. This is a really good apple. It's a really good apple, guys. Ooh. Oh, okay, hold on. So now we have the support. Um Let me see here. I should get a little bit more attack if I put him in the middle and link with both. So there we got seven orbs. And just give these to Toa. This should be an interesting turn for Gohan. This will probably be the highest attack stat we can see on this team as presently constructed 
All right, all right, it's, it's not crazy. It's not crazy. I was honestly expecting a little bit more, but at the same time, he stacks attack for nine turns, right? So in a longer event, if he actually had a chance to like attack multiple times, then he would be hitting much harder by the like third or fourth appearance, right? So I think it's good. I think it's good attack. And obviously his defense, I think is going to be really good as well. We can't really test it here. Um, let's get, ooh, nine orbs. Or Broly, we're facing off against the uh, 21 for the first time. I can probably change his team up a little bit. Let's take out, what do we take out? Let's take out Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and put in Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. The easy A one, which I also haven't tested out yet. But he's also not going to be that good here, mainly because uh, he takes some time to stack up his attack. He needs to perform multiple supers and take multiple attacks, so... Maybe not. I'll try him out. I'll try him out. He can't be worse than Super Saiyan 3 Bardock offensively, right? I don't I don't think it's possible. I don't think it can really be worse than Super Saiyan 3 Bardock on offense. So it's worth a shot. I just realized. I just realized that uh, we are running double Super Saiyan 3. Or sorry, Super Saiyan 4 Vegitos. And we're facing an STR. 21, right? So those two guys are really going to be ineffective here or ineffective here. So instead, I should bring at least a Mechikabura, no? What was Mechikabura? <laughs> Mechikabura. Mechikabura. No. Mechikabura. Mechikabura. What was his um leader skill again? I gotta check that, actually. AGL soup, no, not super. Extreme. Oh. Okay, no Mechikaburas. Back to Vegito. Gotta save some time. If I spend time looking for stuff, it's gonna cut into my time. Or it's gonna like add to my time. Um you know. Of like the race. And I'm still still taking this serious, guys. This is still a serious race, even though it's kind of one-sided right now because I can't see what you guys are doing. I can't talk to you guys, but I'm going to try to set the best time I possibly can so that it makes it harder for you guys to beat me, right? The time for my last video was 26 minutes and 45 seconds, which I was pretty proud of, but I want to get a better time here. Although, with the double type disadvantage, I don't know if we can do it. I don't know if we can do it, unless we get really lucky with like crits and stuff which uh, we haven't been so far, unfortunately. Mm-hmm, okay. Yeah, let me swap out Bardock. Let me swap out Bardock for uh, shoot, AGL super, where's Trunks? Where's Trunks? There's Trunks, okay. This hopefully makes a difference. Uh, oh, there's Trunks, perfect. Okay, so we got Trunks in here. Let's give these to him. What does he link better with? Uh, Vegito, for sure. Although, maybe I should have kept Mass Saiyan in rotation. Okay, so just over 2 million right now. Not that good. It's not bad, but it's not that good. Nice. All right, this will do it for sure. Are we on level 20 yet? Four point one. Good stuff, Broly. 
I like it. I like it. Okay, we're not on level 20. We're on level 19. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna take her out. I'm gonna put in Super Saiyan 4 Broly. Uh, there he is. You know, I took him out just to make things interesting, but look, going this slow is not interesting, so <laughs> we're gonna put him back in. And, and just, just, just see the difference. Just, just see the difference that this guy can make. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's, it's significant. It's a significant difference he makes. Yep. Yep. Mhm. Mm so he almost soloed her. On level 19, this man almost soloed. Android 21. So that's Trunks without any attacks received or or uh, performed. 1.3 mil. So like, yeah, he's definitely more suited, it seems like, for longer events when you can like get those attacks off and take those attacks and like get his full passive. Because on a shorter event like this, not gonna be that impressive. It's not gonna be that impressive. <laughs> um, Let's see. Okay, let's put Okay, let's put Mass Saiyan there. And damn, okay, we didn't get a super off with Broly. Or with Trunks. All we can hope for is a couple of additional supers from Broly. Or at least one addition. No, okay. Things are not going super smooth, guys. <laughs> it's not like the last one where like everything was going according to plan. In this one, it's uh a little rough. A little rough. Uh, that's okay. Give him three orbs there. Just one orb for Vegito. Maybe Gohan can give me a nice additional. That would be appreciated. No additional super, maybe Broly with the additional super. <sighs> Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. By the way, guys, if you haven't uh, seen my summoning video for the new Heroes units, it is now live on the channel. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, man. I, I was pretty happy with that video, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say for now because uh, I don't wanna spoil anything, but Things were pretty solid. I'll just leave it at that. Now, did I get all of them? Wait and see, but <laughs> I guess, I guess, uh, okay, I'll say this. I, I will definitely have to come back to the banner. I, I have to go back to the banner. I have to do a couple more summoning videos because I really like these new units, man. I really do. I think they're they're monsters. Uh, the way they design each of them is it, it's just it's, it's it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. So I gotta have at least like one copy. Of... I just spoiled it. My bad. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. I, I gotta get at least one copy of each, if not a dupe. In some of them, like uh, I kind of want a dupe in the pan. To be honest, you know, like, I, I don't care about Pan that much as a character, but, like, as a unit, she's so good. She does, like, almost everything, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, I really wouldn't mind getting a dupe for her. Um, and I already have a dupe for someone else. That's that's pretty good. So, I'm set for him. But, yeah. Originally, I was thinking maybe just one video would be enough. But, but it, wasn't not, it was not enough. One video was not enough. I gotta go back at least one more time. So, yeah, watch today's summoning video, but also look forward to more in the near future. Yo, I am late. I am late for the gym, guys. Um, I'm gonna have to 
well, people are just gonna have to wait, <laughs> basically, because I'm not gonna like call someone in the middle of the video. I feel bad though. It's 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 really my units, my team's fault, man. My team is not performing up to their capabilities, and it's making this take a lot longer than it has to. And uh, it's just not cool. It's just not cool, guys. Step it up. Let's go. That's that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. I should have been clearing every single level in one rotation, like before this. But like there were just some rotations where like people were not supering, they were not critting, they were not additionaling, you know. And uh, it was just not working. But but I think we're uh we're looking like we're in good shape now. I'll put trunks in the front just so he can get the. Uh, do you call it just so we can get the, the hit and then we can get a super off or super say hit for broly as well which is nice at 1.8 with one hit i see great no great additional no additional all right <laughs> okay that's uh that's fine i guess It's crazy how much um, Broly's attack drops off by when he's not with Vegito. With Vegito, it literally doubles his uh, offensive output, right? Like he goes from 1.9 mil here, which is not that great, to 3.5. And then with an extra support, you're looking at uh, 4.5 to 5 million in, in some situations. Which is crazy, right? So, like, yeah, just having that Vegito with the Super Saiyan 4 Broly makes such a huge difference. Obviously, the support from Vegito is a big part of it, but it's just the links to, like, Saiyan Roar, I think, um, and a few others. Massive, massive boost, like over 100%, basically. Or at least close to 100% in, like, total boosts from the links and the passive. So, with that said, yeah, please give me Vegito and Broly together. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Okay. See, this is not what I wanted. This is definitely not what I wanted. But at least we still can get a super off with, with Broly. This is actually the same rotation we had last turn, no? I swear this is the first, the, the same first rotation we had, literally in the last level. And, and Trunks decides to finally give us an additional super, thank you. Good job, good job Trunks, you did it. Now if Gohan can do the same, then Broly can probably finish her off. Or... no, the crit was probably enough. Now Broly can probably finish her off. Let's go, let's go. Gotta finish this fast. <laughs> Gotta finish it quickly. Okay, we got five more levels to go, guys. No, six. Yeah, it's six. I'm gonna say we'll do this within the next 10 minutes for sure. Uh, under 35. You know what? No. Under 33. That might be ambitious, actually. <laughs> but I'm aiming for the stars, guys. Shooting for the moon. Whichever expression you like. 2.5 mil, come on, additional super. You want more? There's two, give me a third one. I know you can do it, Broly. I know you can do it, Broly. <sighs> I was so sure, man, we're gonna get that third super. I was so certain. See, this is the guy that gets that additional super and he's not gonna even crit and he's not even gonna do any damage. Never mind, he does crit. The reverse psychology worked. I was trying to, to uh, what's the word? I was trying to taunt him and it worked out. Pissed him off, he was like, yo, I'll show you who's gonna crit or who's not gonna crit. There you go. Okay, 27, 28 minutes. Not making great time. Is this event like actually harder or am I just, or is it the team? Or am I just being slow because at the end of the day? Like, I can't really tell. I'm not really sure which one it is. 
Um, I would think it's because of the team. Because I, I don't think this event's any harder than the uh, Heroes Extreme Z battle. If anything, it should be the same. Or like very, very close. That's that's what I feel at least. Um, let me see, actually. I'm going to put Broly there because I want to give him all these orbs. And then Trunks can just do whatever, man. Like, he's not really doing much for us. Like, I'd rather actually put Super Saiyan 3 Bardock back. I think putting Super Saiyan 3 Bardock back would probably be the smartest, smartest, smartest thing to do. The most effective thing to do. Probably. Oh, Broly, you can hit harder than that. Come on, man. That was nothing. That was barely any damage. What, what was that? This is just sad. This is this is just sad. Okay. Um. I guess we'll leave this rotation because I don't want to like mess things up when there's like no links for the Vegito. Yeah. We just gotta hope that he crits. Wait, is this a, a rainbow Vegito? It's gonna be a 55% Vegito actually. I think it is. Yo. <laughs> oh man, I love the double Vegito though with the Broly, because like Broly becomes such a monster. It's it's awesome. Alright, so so based on my initial projection, we have three minutes left, but obviously that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna say 35 minutes once again. Under 35 minutes, I'm happy. More than 35 minutes, you know, not as happy. <laughs> All right, five orbs for Broly. Five orbs for five orbs for Broly. Trunks, if you want an additional, I won't mind. I will not complain about that. Oh, he listened. Thanks, man. Okay. Solid, solid damage. Gohan, if you want to crit, I won't complain. Damn. I thought it was going to work twice. It did not work the second time. <laughs> it did work on Trunks, though. So, uh, maybe if this guy crits. Ugh, still not enough. Alright, so we're going to put Broly there. We just need his one super. And she's definitely dead, man. He's going to get 4.5 mil attack again. Just like that. And this will move us on to 28. Three more levels, guys. Three more levels. Let's get it. Uh, okay, 69% Vegito. Where are all the Rainbow Vegitos, man? We had a bunch of Rainbow Vegitos before. And now they're just all gone. Okay, Trunk's there. Easy. Let's give all these orbs to Gohan. And get a super for Vegito as well. Okay, she's gonna super us immediately, eh? Fine. I'm not scared of no super. I ain't scared of no super. Two attacks, 2.15. Additional. Additional trunks. <sighs> Alright. Gohan additional! Damn. I don't think Gohan's additional even once yet. Not even one time. What's up with that? Okay, let me see. Um, okay, these for Super Saiyan 3 Broly. These for Super Saiyan 4. And no matter what happens, this is gonna be a good rotation. Or rather, you know, it's gonna end this stage. Whether it be this attack or the next attack. Okay, so not this attack. The next attack. I believe. We're actually taking a pretty significant amount of damage. I think this Extreme Z battle is actually legitimately harder than the Heroes one. Which is which is just kind of weird to me. Because like, you got 7 Extreme Z Awakenings for the other one. You got 2 Extreme Z Awakenings here. So in theory, shouldn't you make the one with the more Extreme Z Awakenings harder? No? Doesn't that, doesn't that make a lot of sense? <laughs> it makes sense to me. It, it makes sense to me. 
All right, uh, let's put... Nah, I don't want to put trunks there. Screw your trunks. Um, just three orbs for him. If he additionals, he gets a super. If he doesn't, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's not like he was doing that much for us anyways. <laughs> I'm kind of iffy on trunks, man. But I, I will say, like I, I said before, I think he's going to be much more impressive on longer events when he gets to stack up his passive. And uh, he's also... I mean, he's also still mu a much more defensive unit, right? He's still supposed to be just like this this monster of a tank, which uh, I think he still will be um, against like the harder events, like Super Battle Road, for example. I think he's going to be really good on Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road with his defensive abilities. So that's still mainly what you're going to bring him for. They just made him, you know, more viable on uh, offense than he used to be. So I really shouldn't be complaining, I guess. But like, we're Dokkan players, you know? Like, we like to complain. <laughs> That's kind of our thing. Complaining is kind of our thing. It's in our DNA. Okay, Vegito, you better, you better finish this off, man. Don't make me do one more attack. Don't make me move to the next rotation just to finish this stage. Like, it's not, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be fun. Thank you. You listen to me. You listen to me. Oh, okay, guys, one more, one more. Last stage, and then we are out of here. Got to go get some uh, some back and buys in. Okay, let's see. You go there. Uh, I'll give these to him. I'll give these the trunks. We did pass thirty-five minutes. But I think we're going to do it within the next minute and a half. Uh, under 37 minutes. Under 37 minutes. Come on, one more super, one more super, one more super. Bro, come on. Come on, man. Hey, give me a crit here. Let me see that crit. Let me see that crit. And then there's Trunks with his weak ass super. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. What is a good amount of orbs? Okay, so let's go there. Six orbs for Broly. And then get four for Gohan. 3.5. I want to see that crit, man. Okay, no crit. If this guy crits and then Gohan crits, we should be done. Okay, he didn't crit. Can Gohan crit? <laughs> Letting me down, guys. Letting me down. Alright, well, this is going to be it, and obviously, since he is the MVP, he has been the MVP for both this stage and the last, or for this event and also the, the other Extreme Z battle, um, I'm going to let him have the last attack. I'm going to let him put the finishing touches on this run, on this race, and I'll be ready to stop this in right now. Okay, 37 minutes, 7 seconds, 37.07, it took us 10 more minutes, literally 10 more minutes. Then the uh, other Extreme Z battle, I'm honestly a little bit disappointed in myself. And this is, oh my bad, that's no, fine. Um, and this is considering the fact that we did not even uh, have to record level one. <laughs> so we technically did one level less than the last event in the video, at least in the race. And it took us 10 more minutes. So uh, I, I don't feel so good about this time. I felt pretty good about the other time. I did not feel good about this time. I'm sure a lot of you guys beat me, but let me know in the comments what your best time was. And uh, good luck on your summons, guys. More summoning videos coming. More videos in general coming for the celebration because there's just so much content. Like, I didn't even get a chance to make a chain battle video for Janemba today because I was so busy with, like, other stuff, you know? So, like, that's coming tomorrow. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like 
the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.